So we got an art gallery over here. Let's see what's going on. What's that? Oh, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. I, I've known people that look like that. And they weren't even fish. They were people. Right, that's pretty cool. This is called um, oh, Obelisk. But it's definitely not on the moon, and it's definitely not the movie 2001. Or Space Odyssey. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I've never known a woman personally that had a that look to her. I probably would not try to date her, but yeah. It's pretty cool here. Uh, and they have to, I guess they had to put it inside that case because they didn't want it to get damaged. I guess sometimes that's what happens. I don't know, maybe it depends on how, you know, what it's worth. Oh, it's, it's priced right here. $295. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Probably where Stove the Hobo got his start. No, just kidding. All right. That's pretty cool. That one's real lot. That's eight, almost a grand for this. And all it is is like a piece of some, some, some face. <clears throat> mm, there we go. I don't know. At first, when you first look at it, you're thinking, <clears throat> is that a perpetual motion machine? And obviously, it's not. It's not moving. It doesn't have a price on it. It's called Harmony. It does not have a price. It's probably not being sold. This one here, third place at the Thousand Oaks um, Art Association. Pretty cool, kind of, you know, kind of has a neat glaze to it. It's called uh, Altar to the Sun. <clears throat> Pretty cool. And uh, this is called Flight by Gene Thompson. Pretty neat. That's $325. <clears throat> And this took second place. This is called Stella. Pretty cool. Um, pretty attractive. Not sure if she's... Um, I'm not sure what kind of ethnicity that's supposed to be. I mean, you're, you assume because of the color it's African-American, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, really, if you look at it, it's kind of a little more Asian in the eyes. But yeah, it took... Uh, it's almost three grand. It's two and a half thousand dollars for that. And uh, okay, so this is five hundred dollars for that. <laughs> Pretty cool. And that took it, it got honorable mention. I don't know what that means, but it got a prize called honorable mention. Pretty cool. I did a composite work like this before. It was made from different kinds of spices and stuff, and I even used some powdered chalk. It was pretty cool. And I destroyed it because I, I do that when I make art. I destroy it. I don't want anyone else to have it. So I'm just going through here looking at the art. I've never seen this place, so it's an art gallery. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, uh, I just ate some fried, I mean, some Chinese food, so my stomach is full. That's pretty cool right there. I mean, who doesn't like lobster and steak, right? I don't know about lobster and steak in artwork form, but I definitely like art. I mean, lobster and steak. That's 
pretty cool. Ah, that's pretty cool, but for all intents and purposes, uh, that guy, he could be like El Chapo's right hand man. We don't know. You know it's art, though, so we'll just leave that as it is. And we'll get this one. This one, I drew some flowers once, gave it to my sister, but she's kind of ungrateful. I don't know. She got rude with me one time. I needed, I was in, uh, back then I had needed some money. I needed some help and she didn't help me. So I said, give me my artwork back then. And it was, I think it was way better than that. But that's, that's oil. So if you're going to do, I mean, mine was made with stencil and that's oil. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this one. And this one's pretty cool. Right there, I'm, I I see like a face in there, right there. You know, kind of like a tortured soul type of deal. And it's called fractures, so that's probably why, because of that face there. You know that's a face, right? And that's pretty cool, a little bit picasso -y right there. Kind of looks alien. It's called Crescendo Canyon, but it looks like it's on another planet, if you ask me. And that's pretty cool. Kind of like looks like Grand Canyon for sure. A little quick, uh, ow, impressionistic art, or whatever you want to call it. This is study of a young man. Uh, pretty cool. These days, uh, somebody that has those braids and walks around with a cap like mine, and then they got a shirt that says Thug Life. But uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, pretty cool. She's got kind of a big schnauzer, but... Pretty cool, pretty cool. This one's got a neat color to it. And to me, that kind of looks like the nuclear holocaust, but anyway, guys, I don't know if I want to go through this entire art gallery. I just wanted to come in here and do a quick uh, showing of the art gallery. Pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people are really into art, so I am too, to a certain degree. <laughs> it's pretty cool there. I don't know what that's all about. It's called waiting to spin. <laughs> I, I'd probably make one, you know, like that, and I'd call it sit and spin. But they have a washing machine up there. All right. <sighs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not not intensely riveting, but I know what a goldfish looks like when it's laying flat on the ground. So, um, that's a leaf, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's just uh, I don't know. Maybe it's sage bush. I don't know. I can't tell. Now that's that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I like lions, man. And that's pretty cool. Wouldn't want to live there, but it looks pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. It's really cool, actually. Um, that's pretty cool. Let me know if you see anything in this art, some of the impressionistic work that you uh, want to let me know about like I might have missed it and you may see something I don't this is pretty cool it comes right off the it's a painting it's kind of 3d it's got the dress coming right off of her off the painting that's pretty cool and this is pretty cool this is like a collage of news articles so that's pretty cool I 
that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool there. And now that's pretty cool. I don't know where that's at, but I don't know, the vintage pick. You know, I'd like to know where that is. I, I guarantee it's probably, I, I don't want to say Route 66, but kind of reminds me of like the Kingman area or something. And uh, yeah, let's kind of make a quick run through here. And if you see reflections, it's because some of the paintings have glass over them, obviously. And you're going to see those reflections. It's pretty cool there. And uh, it was pretty cool. Not a big fan of pink Cadillacs or pink in general, but. But I do mind, I do like watermelon though. That's pretty cool there. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool there. Ow, my shoulder. Uh, got a pinch nerve in my rotator cup. That's pretty cool there. Kind of a flushed out color, but it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. It's an artist painting of, I guess, I guess it's the artist that may, who knows, maybe he made some paintings here. I don't know. Oh, you already saw that. Okay. We're almost done here, folks. I just want to, now that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure if you look at that close, they use print, printed words to do a lot of the stuff there. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool there. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of abstract, but so is a lot of stuff. And that just looks like a, that's four hundred dollars for that, but that's a uh, I don't know what you call them, you know. But it's just like a photograph. So that's pretty cool there. That's pretty cool. And yeah, we're out of here, guys. I just want to come through here real quick, look at some of the paintings. Let me know if you liked any of them. And that's abstract. That's pretty weird. That's pretty cool. All right, and we're out of here. Ow! One more picture. One more. That one, or this one. I like this one here. This one here I would hang up in my house. All right, thank you.